Welcome to Environmental Science. This week we are going to be looking at the economics of environmental science. And along with that, we're going to be looking at uh, governmental policies, both here in the United States and abroad, internationally. So you might be thinking, well, why in the heck are we looking at um, economics and government policy? This isn't a U.S. government course or uh, a, an economics course for that matter. It's a science course. Well, all of uh, let me back up. If you recall, at the beginning of this course, I talked about how this is my favorite science to teach because it's so relevant to our daily life. And this is kind of where some of that daily life stuff comes into play. Eventually, you're going to grow up, you're going to become an adult, and you may find yourself involved in either local politics or state politics or maybe even federal politics. And when you get involved with politics, you're going to be asked to decide to make decisions about how we utilize resources in our communities. And that's going to um, all be part of uh, economics and it's a governmental policy uh, impacts on economics. And economics are driven by the availability of resources and how those resources are obtained and used and disposed of. All of those things uh, tend to be regulated uh, in some way or another. So that's part and parcel of what we're going to be studying this year in environmental science. We're going to look at those kinds of issues. As we look at the resources and the science behind them, we'll also be looking at um, the impact of the utilization of these resources in terms of how we uh, derive these resources from the earth or from the environment, how we dispose of them when we're done with them, what, what byproducts are created, um, and just different things like that. So you're going to come across a number of vocabulary terms that you're going to need to become familiar with, uh, ranging from the word economics itself to ecological economics and environmental economics economics, which are pretty similar. You're also going to look at things like market failure, supply and demand, eco-labeling, and cost-benefit analysis. And then when we move into some of the policy issues, uh, when we get into U.S. policy on environmental issues, uh, you're going to come across terms like policy, of course, environmental policy, environmental impact statements, also known as EISs, and you're also going to learn about the command and control approach of governing, subsidies, green taxes, cap and trade, and lobbying. So all of that's going to be compressed into this week. So there's a lot of work ahead of you. So I hope you're ready to do some solid work and do some solid learning. And we're just going to build a foundation of environmental policy and how governments can impact uh, the environment and, the, and economics and how um, economics play a role in environmental policy as well, back and forth. So a little bit of hold hand, uh, hand holding there. All right, so that's uh, kind of a quick preview of what's coming up this week. I think you're going to like it. Uh, it's probably going to be a little different than you expect uh, in some ways and similar in other ways because we definitely will be learning about some specific laws that have been passed and regulations that are in play and ways that governments try to influence markets and economies and communities. So, enjoy.